Hey guys, it's Cod Protect here, and this is going to be another Sony Vegas Pro 11 tutorial. This is going to be on the screen flash effect. So, pretty much, you're going to need a song that's got a beat to go along to. I'll just quickly show you my song. Just mute the game sound. Okay, so you get the idea. This is just a random gameplay that I just thought. Um, just come on my HD VR. I'm not sure if it's got any good clips in it or anything. I've just looked. So I'm just gonna just for the purpose of this tutorial, you just click on your clip and just click U, and then go click onto the sound and just click delete on your keyboard. That's just gonna get rid of um, the sound at your gameplay because I'm not gonna be using that in this. So what you wanna do is you're gonna use the scroll wheel on your mouse to zoom in. Just push it forward and zoom in. If I look, so I know that I want a flash to be here because that's where the main part of the beat is. So what you're going to want to do is here where it says brightness and contrast, this on, you, it would normally be on this, but you're going to want to go over to video FX and find brightness and contrast. You're just going to drag the default one straight onto the clip. Hit open here. And what it'll do is it'll come with Sony brightness and contrast. Here is his brightness, you're going to want to click this like clock sign thing where it says animate. Click on that and this thing will appear down here. So what you're going to do is make sure this is clicked. And what that will do is if you if you just look, whenever you, whoops, what have I done? Whenever you move the cursor on here, it also sync with the cursor on your actual video. Just look, when I'm moving it, it's moving that. So yeah. So what you're going to want to do is just, if I just, I don't know, I'll just stick that in there. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to skip to where, just before where you want the beat to be, which is going to be about there. And what you're going to do is where it says here, you're going to click add keyframe. I'll just pull that out of there actually. Add keyframe. Just leave all these at zero again. And then... Like when the actual beat is, which if I just skip a few frames, you want to put the brightness up as bright as you're going to want the flash to be. So if you look, I'm going to want it to be like that. And then just after the beat, I'm going to want it to fade out again. So I'm going to skip a few frames and then put that button to zero. If we just watch this clip, that one second. That's not totally in sync, but you can change that to like how you want it. And if we look, we just go for the there's another part here where if we just put another keyframe there, set this up to like very bright, and then if we just Go forward a few frames, turn the brightness back down to zero. And if we just watch that back, it's not going to be totally in sync, but if I just quickly do the RAM preview, this is what it's going to look like. So as you can see, it doesn't look great, but yeah, it don't look great. But you can spend more time doing that through the whole of your song. And I have used this in the intro to well, the trailer to my new montage, which is coming out, which is right here, called Monster. And yeah, it's community montage. So send your clips in for that. And I do actually use this effect in like the intro to that um, to that. Um, montage and there is a trailer up the whole montage isn't finished yet but yeah um so make your clips of that um subscribe for more sony vegas pro 11 tutorials and montages and gameplay and speed arts and <laughs> any random stuff that i can be bothered to put on youtube so yeah guys thanks for watching and see you guys next time